Hey there, you beautiful sons of bitches, it's Jade, and today I just want to chill and talk about a little visual novel I just read called Planetarian, The Reveries of a Little Planet, and I had fun reading it, it's really short, like the thing that visual novels always get shat on for is that they're so fucking long, and to a certain extent I get that because like not everybody has an uber amount of time to like sit and focus on the visual novels there's also this really anti reading whack craziness that's been going on recently or probably for like the past few decades now where you tell anybody to read anything and they're like oh i want to read Ugh, what is this reading shit you dork <laughs> And yeah, that's basically how people react when you tell them to read anything, even if even if it's a fucking manga, right? But Planetarian's good because it's short, it's sweet, very concise storytelling, and extremely emotional. Now, this is my first key visual novel, so going into this, I already know Key's reputation for being the sad boys of visual novel storytelling where a lot of their work has this very much sad slash somber feel to it, or at least that's the perception I have based on what people have said about Ki. And this one lived up to that expectation. You, you start it up and you're in this fucking post-apocalyptic hellscape, right? And this guy comes across this old robot in a planetarium. And the story is mainly about their interactions and I guess the whole idea of in this broken world, this world that's really fucked up after some wild shit happens, right? This is future Earth, I guess. I don't know why I keep on saying world. <laughs> but yeah, this is future Earth, right? That's really fucked up and shit. You know, it's this guy, our protagonist, gets kind of this small, this glimmer of hope for like some happiness in this world and there's this clash i guess early on where when the guy first walks into the planetarium like he has a fucking grenade launcher and he's he's soaked down from the rain and it's this very gritty juxtaposition because you have this cute anime robot girl it's like okay sama and all this shit and is being all nice and cutesy and then you have a guy with a fucking rocket launcher and a cigarette in the car is like shut up robot and the main idea of planetarian is that people we tend to take shit for granted <laughs> like when the world is the way it is like we fucking complain like it's no freaking tomorrow when Really, especially if you live in the United States like I do, we're kind of living life on fucking easy mode. Like, I never have to worry about food, water, as long as you have the dough, of course, but I mean, having a job isn't that difficult. Getting a job is a matter of putting in the effort to find the job and having your shit together. If you're responsible, it's very easy to eke out a living and you know live a very comfortable life here whereas in a world that's as fucked up as you know the earth of planetarian things are so fucked that no matter where you go everybody's living a really gritty hard life the environment's fucked up you can't even see the sky anymore and you know that's not the case where you know in my life or in the life of most people who live in this time right now where it's possible to be happy and live a very comfortable existence and the main manifestation of this in the story is the interactions between um the main character mr customer and the robot Hoshino, where it's kind of a clash of worlds, the optimism of the past versus the grim realities of the present and the future. But yeah, enough about that. Um, if you haven't read this story, I highly recommend it. It's really cheap on Steam. Um, you can go pick it up. It's very short and it has a really endearing story. So I say give it a shot. Anyway, if you listen to this short little thing, uh, thanks. I'll see you later. Goodbye.